I'm over the moon to welcome Joe Rogan into the com box with me. He's, uh, I can hear the passion in his voice. I really love pool. It's uh, one of my main obsessions. If you catch me alone on my phone, most of the time I'm watching pool matches. And he goes and gets, uh, yep, look at this. Very nice. Clean shot on the one, good position for the two. Maybe the beginning and the end. Yeah, I'm going to make a prediction. I don't see any problems here at all except the five ball. The only thing they could hold, mess him up here is getting on the wrong side of the five ball if the five ball doesn't go by the eight. It looks like it does, though. Yeah, Dennis is looking on. Yeah, it looks like it goes by. It's it, close, though, right? Yeah, it's tight. It's real tight. That's the only problem in this rack. Because once he gets good on this three ball here after this one ball... Oh, no! Who saw that coming? Oh, and got lucky. Miss Q and got lucky. Yeah, I think I think if you look at Dennis Grabby's face now, he's going to come to the table and he's going to say, are you kidding me? He's going to be sick. He's going to be sick because it's really like a very nice save. Okay, so now he runs the risk of jumping and bouncing off the table because he's jumping so close to the rail. Exactly right. Ooh. Oh, he got lucky too. Nice. All right, now things are weird. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think anyone would begrudge Dennis getting a bit of a roll here. Yeah. So it doesn't look like he, I mean, he barely, so he's got to kick at this from behind. And he's got to kick at it and hope not to leave. I mean, it's not like he's going to leave a 1-5 combo that's easy, but this is a tricky spot. I'll tell you what, that look on Dennis's face in the chair, that's born of a 9-3 deficit that he faces. Yeah. He just doesn't see any light at the end of the tunnel, does he? Well, he's playing a robot. <laughs> you know, like Fedor just keep, he keeps getting out. If it wasn't for that missed cue and that missed eight ball, you, you wouldn't think he was human. It says he's calling the one ball. Off the eight. Yeah. Okay, now that might sell out. Well, Dennis has a chance now. Now, this is great for Dennis because you think about that last rack. Like, as he broke, he's got this clean shot on the one ball. Who would have ever expected him to miscue? Good position. Look at the what, what is going on. He just miscued too. How often does that happen? Look at this. This is crazy. Yeah, I, I haven't seen uh, two miscues from players of of this ilk. That is wild. Maybe it's me. Maybe I've jinxed them. He's called the corner. Oh, safety. Got lucky. Great shot. Yeah. Great hit, great result. And you really have to start feeling for poor Dennis. Oh, look at that, though. Maybe not just yet. Not just yet. Okay. Now, if you could just loosen up here now and get focused. He's got a shot at the three. Oh, he played safe. Very nice. Dennis hasn't had many shots that are hitting the highlight reel, but that's one. So Fader looks like he's going to go three rails and either try to bank it into the upper left-hand corner or behind it. I'm not sure what angle he's playing here. So he was trying to go behind it. He'd be quite happy with that result, though. Yeah. Well, at least Dennis has a shot at it. And it, he's got that four ball all the way down near that corner pocket at the other end of the table. Like, he might just play this and... You know, there's that give up stroke that guys got. Look at that. Oh, he didn't want that. That is sick. You know that give up stroke where you know you're losing and all of a sudden your arm gets loose? Look at this, this is a beautiful shot. Yeah, I was quite familiar with that in my prime. <laughs> oh, he missed it. Wow, ball in hand. All right. Now Fedor's probably chalked his cue for the last five minutes. Yeah, there will be no more miscues. 
Well, there'll be no more miscues. I think that one is going to seal Dennis Grobby's fate. And with ball in hand. Yeah, this should be it. Yeah, you don't, uh, you don't get many indoor earthquakes, unless they're Keith McCready, of course. <laughs> But you think about contrast of styles, how wild would that have been to watch this guy in his prime play McCready in his prime? It would have been interesting because Keith was a rare talent as well. Rare talent. An amazing player. I mean, there's some incredible videos of him. I really truly believe, though, that the players of today are the best players ever. Like anything else, Joe, I mean, they've gotten better, younger in every sport. They've gotten better, younger, and they have more access to watching great players which I think is huge. I learned a lot watching AccuStats tapes, watching Buddy Hall's position play and Mike Siegel and Earl and Johnny Archer. But these guys, I mean, they have so much access to it and they have access to so many drills. There's just, there's so much content that a young pool player can use to enrich their game today. You know, I've, I did so many Moscone Cups from the very outset and um, I watched Europe gradually overhaul America to a point where America had no chance anymore. Now America's starting to come back a little bit again. And um, the Europeans, they showed them. They showed them what this can be like when it's treated like a sport. Mm, yes. Uh-oh. 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 Well, a little wayward with the cue ball there. Things get a little squirrely here now because He's got a lot of moving to do here. This is an interesting shot. Does he have an extension left? Well, we might find out. Yeah, I don't know if he has. I don't think he does. But he can cue at this. He can force yeah. follow this off two cushions. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. Quick look to see if the 10 is touching the cushion. That changes how he acts and... How he presents it now for the match. He'll gather all his focus, all his concentration. He wants one more shot. Wants to bury this 10 and end Dennis's hopes. Beautiful. It's there. <laughs> Clinical as always. Better Gorst and he is through to the semifinals. He'll hit that pillow hard tonight, get a good rest. Still a lot of pool in store for him. This 10, over and out for Fedor Gors. Great match, great win. In the end, 10-3. And Joe Rogan, thank you so much for gracing us with your thank presence. Thank you, sir. I, I appreciate it very much. It was it, a lot of fun, Jim. It was tremendous. Again, I'm Jim White. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll be back with a lot more pool action coming your way tonight. Stay with us, folks. It was a great match. Thank a lot you. of fun. You got weird on that one eight ball, and then all of a sudden things didn't go your way for a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I could have, I could have went up six to one and missed that eight ball, because in my mind I was thinking, you know, you have to play safety, because I always try to play super conservative. And uh, but at the same time, if I make the eight, you know, I'm, I'm running and I was on the run, and I think I should have just. Uh, you know, take my took my time and should have just played the eight ball instead of overthinking. And then later on in the match, when you miss Q and then he miss Qs, how often does that ever happen? It's real weird. Yeah, I mean, the last game, I, I had a good layout. I uh, was, I mean, it was I was I had to play the one ball and draw like full almost full table and miss Q, and he miss Q on the one ball as well. I don't know. Uh, probably odds are like yeah we, I was doing the commentary I was in the commentary booth oh. for that while that happened and we were like oh my, how is this possible yeah, you were probably out there <laughs> <laughs> maybe yeah. you never know with me but uh, it was a great match and it was beautiful to watch your position play and your fundamentals and one of the things that I was saying to Jim was for young players to be able to watch a guy like you and to watch it on YouTube you look one of the perfect players to emulate and it's really an amazing resource that they have these videos to be able to just watch on YouTube anytime they want. No, I agree, I agree. That's that's what I did myself, especially when I was trying to learn new disciplines like one pocket and banks. You know, we don't play that in Europe. So I had to research on YouTube. Thanks that there's a lot of videos that you can watch and learn. 
So as it stands now in the tournament, you're where are you at? Like how many more matches? It's semifinals. I believe it's tomorrow. So four players left. Four players left. How are you feeling? Good, confident. Uh, I wish I didn't miss that eight ball. Otherwise, I would have been uh, feeling over the moon. You got the rare miscue out of the way. That's pro probably pretty rare for you. Actually not, but uh, I need to work on my draw more. Well, beautiful match. Congratulations, sir. Pleasure to call it. Thanks a lot, Joe.